Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today I want to show you a demonstration that I call my two bowl mystery. It's a demonstration of electrical resistance. So here's the piece. Let's take a closer look. Now the base has two light sockets. They are wired in series to a battery, and the electricity flows in one complete circuit. It must go through two bulbs from this 9 volt battery. Now let's screw the bulbs in and see what happens. First, I'll screw in this one and a half volt. There, there we go. And this 100 watt bulb. Let's screw that in. And there we are. The small bulb lights, the large one doesn't, but the small bulb goes out. Let's try that again. It lights, but only for a few moments. Why is it going out? Well, let's try another experiment. I'm going to take this bulb out and break it apart and just use the filament. So, break the glass. I covered it in masking tape to keep the pieces together. There go. That should be all right. Now, pull the filament carefully so it doesn't break. And here's a filament from a 100 watt bulb. Now, let's go put this back in that piece and see what happens this time. All right, the filament's in place. Let's put that small bulb in. Yeah, it lights, but it goes out after about five seconds. Okay, we're going to try this again. This time, once again, I'm going to screw in the bulb, it'll light for a moment, then goes out, and I'm going to try and blow across this big filament, and watch what happens. The little bulb lights, and the harder I blow, the brighter it gets, and as soon as I stop blowing on it, this little bulb goes out. So, what's going on? Now we can get part of the answer by touching the filament very carefully. It's hot. And that reduces the flow of electricity. Blowing on it cools it, allowing more electricity to flow so the bulb can light. Now we can test this by taking an ice cube and putting it against that filament and once again we see the bulb lighting because the filament is being cooled off. Now let's go try it another way. Alright, now it's switched bulbs. This is now a 150 watt bulb, and if I screw in the little bulb, it lights up, and it appears to stay lit. So, let's try that same experiment without the cover on it and see what happens then. Okay, glass is broken. Let's pull it out. There we go. There's a the filament from a 150 watt bulb. Now, let's go try it. All right, so I'll screw this filament in, and then I'll tighten the bulb up, and that'll turn it on. Now let me blow on it. We can see that it got a little bit brighter. Now let's try heating that filament up a little bit with a match. The additional heat from the match raises the resistance inside the filament enough so that the little bulb goes out. It reduces the amount of electricity that can flow so that the bulb doesn't light. And when I take the heat away, it comes back on again. In a later video, we'll take a look at other conductors and use a meter to see how we can measure their resistance. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.